Hi, this is Daniel and this is a quick update video for version 1.2 of Blender Ray. I'm very excited to share that we've incorporated the most highly requested feature or the first version of it, which is importing layers from After Effects. And you see there's this new button here and also an import scale, which I'll talk about soon. So at the moment, it works well with 3D camera uh, solves and 3D camera tracking data. So I've got this demo, just a bit of handheld footage on this dirt road here. Um, I've already applied the 3D camera tracker to it and I'm going to set the ground plane on the, the ground location um, around here somewhere and this just tells After Effects where 000, zero, zero should be. So I've set the ground plane and origin to there and I'll just add a solid and a camera in here and that will also help us to see whether the camera track is working. The way this works is I can select these layers in After Effects, go back to Blender and simply click Import Layers. And that'll process in After Effects and if we go back to Blender, we can see now we have a camera, 3D camera tracker and the tracked solid. And if I go into that camera, we can just scrub through this and see that the camera motion is there. I can also add a background image and I've rendered that clip off. So now this clip is the background, you can see that that matches very well. With this new feature, we can import solids, cameras, uh, and nulls. So if I go back to After Effects, I'll select the 3D camera tracker again, and I'll just add a null over here, and maybe one over here as well, and maybe just one in the distance. And if I just select those layers, go back to Blender, click Import Layers, Jump back into Blender and we see we've got these nulls in the scene now as well. And you'll notice this is all um, set around the world origin, which was where we set the ground plane. Alright, so a couple of things to be aware of with this version. We're still working on supporting uh, more features. At the moment, position, orientation and scale is supported for layers, um, but we don't currently support separated X, Y, Z rotation keyframes. We're working on incorporating that into a future release. Um, also, you notice in Blender, we have the option to change the import scale. So this just allows you to change the scale of your scene. In After Effects, sometimes the camera track can be very uh, different scales or values which don't rep or don't reflect the real world values that you might want in Blender. So if I sec select if I select these layers again, go back to Blender, I'll just change this to two and import layers again. That'll jump back over to After Effects, process and we'll jump back to Blender and see all our layers. And now it's still exactly the same type of data, it's just at a uh, different scale, double the scale as the previous one. And actually, if I change this back to one and jump, uh, sorry, click import layers again, you can actually see that difference. So you'll also notice when I select the camera that uh, we've just put the sensor size information up here, which is exactly the same. Um, information or data as the camera icon, camera and then sensor size here. So if I change this to horizontal, it's reflected um, there, it's the same data. That just helps you uh, remind you to check the camera sensor size because that is one value that, I, that we currently can't import from After Effects. So this is very useful for quickly getting motion tracking data from After Effects into Blender. Um, and just for fun, I'll switch to cycles. I'll just change the angle of the HDRI. I'll switch this volume, go to object properties and in visibility, select shadow catcher. And there we go, we've quickly got a motion track scene with a 3D object and shadows. So that's a very quick overview of 
Blender Ray version 1.2. I hope you find it useful and I'll keep working on it.